ever wished for a seamless way to generate consistent character images and videos. With just one photo and cutting-edge AI, you can bring characters to life like never before. This revolutionary method ensures your character's look and personality remain intact across all visuals, enhancing storytelling and brand recognition. Say goodbye to inconsistent designs and hello to captivating, cohesive content. By leveraging this powerful technique, you can create engaging videos and stunning images that resonate with your audience. Whether you're crafting a narrative or building a brand, this approach transforms your creative process. Ready to redefine character creation? Let's dive in. So come with me. Let me show you how this is done. But before we start, do not forget to subscribe, like, share and comment on the video. I will try my best to reply your message. To start, I gave ChatGPT a prompt, asking it to help create a short cinematic AI movie about the Los Angeles fire outbreak using just one main character. I requested a story that would be engaging and fun. ChatGPT generated an amazing story for me, which I'll share below. The story is titled Fireheart the LA Inferno and it focuses on Maya as the main character. The story not only captured my idea perfectly, but also came with a well-structured script that included detailed camera movements and dialogue. Maya, the protagonist, was described as sharp-witted, athletic, and brave. Next, I needed an image of Maya. I asked ChatGPT to generate an image of her, specifying that her hair should be red. It produced an impressive image of Maya, which perfectly aligned with the character's description. Although the dimensions and aspect ratio didn't matter at this stage, I only needed the face of Maya for use in generating the cinematic video. To animate the image I used Minimax AI. On Minimax I clicked create and selected the subject reference option. Since the image from ChatGPT was in web format, I needed to convert it to a JPEG or PNG file. For this I used PicFlow, a website designed for image conversion. After uploading Maya's image to PicFlow, I converted and saved it. Returning to Minimax AI, I clicked Add Reference Character, uploaded the converted image of Maya, and confirmed it. The system then displayed Maya's image. Here, I was ready to bring my story to life by generating a video. I went back to the chat GPT generated script. For instance, the opening scene reads, A raging white fire lights up the city, sirens wail in the distance, smoke fills the air. We zoom in on Maya Torres, 30, sharp-witted and athletic, sprinting through the chaos in battered firefighter gear. Using this as a guide, I input the scene details into Minimax AI. Minimax allows generating up to five variations at once, so I could select the best version of the video scene. Since I was using the unlimited version, I opted to generate multiple variations to ensure I had the best possible outcome. And here, guys, is the video. Let me click on it. Just take a look. Isn't this amazing? Notice the consistency in the facial reference. As you can see, the character in the video matches exactly with the image we generated earlier. This is truly incredible. AI is evolving at such a rapid pace and tools like this are changing the way we create content. Based on my prompt, this is the result I got, and it's exactly what I envisioned. Now, let's move forward. I'll head back to ChatGPT to copy the scene from the script, just like we did in the first image. For example, I can adjust the prompts and add more video details for continuity. One thing I ensured during this process was creating multiple videos of Maya to work with. The main reason for generating several videos was to give myself options for different scenes, transitions, and edits. For instance, I might start with this video, transition into another, and then move to the next one. The other videos are still generating as you can see, but they are consistent with the character design. This consistency makes it easy to maintain the flow and realism of the story. I think I generated about three videos simultaneously, but to speed things up, I'll go ahead and generate additional scenes. Once the videos are done generating, the next step is to download them. I'll simply click on the download button for each video. After that, I need to upscale the videos to enhance their quality. 
To do this, I'll use CapCut's video upscaler. Here's how. I'll open my browser, go to capcut.com and look for Magic Tools. Within Magic Tools, I'll find the video upscaler option. I'll click on it and upload my videos one by one. To make the process faster, I'll open several tabs and paste the video links into each one. This allows me to upscale multiple videos at the same time. After uploading, I'll click upscale on each tab. Let's say I'm upscaling six videos simultaneously. Once the upscaling is complete, I'll export each video by clicking export, then scroll up to download and save it to my computer. I'll repeat this process for all the videos, ensuring each one is enhanced to the best quality. While the upscaling is happening, you can take a moment to grab a cup of tea or coffee and relax. It's all about patience here. Once the videos are upscaled and downloaded, the next step is adding the voiceover for the story. This will tie everything together beautifully. There are two methods I often use to create voiceovers. The first is with Eleven Labs, a tool that generates realistic AI voices. The second method is using My Vocal AI, which allows for a more personalized touch. Both options are excellent for producing high quality voiceovers. Once the voiceover is complete, I'll bring together the videos, voice, background music, and sound effects. For this, I'll use CapCut, a user-friendly tool for video editing. The goal is to seamlessly combine all elements into a cohesive cinematic experience. So before we continue, here is something I created. A massive wildfire engulfs Los Angeles, destroying homes and landmarks. Firefighters battle relentless flames as residents evacuate. Stay tuned for updates. Looking at these examples, I truly believe you can create something even better. I'm here to show you how to use this AI tool effectively. If you spend time with it, you can generate something exceptional. For voiceovers, I use Eleven Labs. All I did was input my text, choose a voice, and generated the speech. I also use my vocal AI tool. I use this for my Clovac Studio videos and other projects. If you want to try it, there's a 15% discount in my channel description. You can even create clone voices for unique results. For sound and music, I use Pixabay to find dramatic effects like fire and explosions. Simply search for the sound you need, download it, and add it to your project. For background music, use the music section, search for the mood you want, for example, dramatic, and choose a track that fits. With these tools, you can create exceptional content. All it takes is a bit of time and creativity. Experiment, refine, and let your imagination guide you. You've got this. So let's go to CapCut to finish things up. Here inside CapCut, I was able to upload the videos, sound effects and voiceover. I also added the background sound to enhance the project. As you can see, I placed the video on the timeline and added a transition. The transition I used was the mix transition, which I placed between the videos. Next, I added the sound effects. The fire sound effect was placed above the timeline, followed by the explosion sound effect. Then, I added the background music and positioned the voiceover on top. To complete the video, I applied the mistletoe filter. To add it, click on the filter option, scroll up, and select the mistletoe filter. Simply drag it onto the timeline and ensure it covers the entire video. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Go ahead and try out Minimax's consistent image referencing to make your videos even more exceptional by generating visually cohesive and impactful sessions.